Find your drive. We drew a line in the sand with our own new Concentrate Killer and the competition isn't prepared to cross it. Super Drive isn't another concentrated pre-workout. It's an effectively dosed pre-workout designed to deliver exactly what you want with pure innovation. Fuel yourself. Rich was probably one of the greatest younger bodybuilders that we've ever seen. Richie set a new standard. No one had seen that before, and that's what really separated him from the crowd at that point. You knew that if Rich Gaspari was gonna be in a show, you had a battle on your hands. I've known Rich probably for 30 years. I met him at the Junior National Championships over in New Jersey. You could just see he wanted to be a champion. December 1985 in London, when he came to the UK to do a guest spot. To be honest, he was a cocky little kid in them days, and he, he admits that. I met Rich in the early 80s at a Nationals, uh, actually the Nationals that he won, but it really wasn't until 1987 that we uh, formally met and uh, met on stage at the Mr. Olympia. Between 88 and 89, I was head judging the Gainesville uh, NPC show, and Rich came down to guest pose at the show. He probably, had, you know, in that time period, was the greatest bodybuilder that was around. Rich set a standard for muscularity and hardness in the 80s uh, that really got everybody's attention. A standard that everybody had to achieve in order to uh, get up there and compete. He couldn't understand why everybody was amazed, this 22-year-old kid doing this. He thought that was par for the course. What struck me right off the bat was Richie's intensity. Rich was always a very competitive body, but very fierce. He had a lot of potential to be go, go on to be something great, which he did. And kind of got to put him with Larry Scott being the first Mr. Olympia. Rich is the first Arnold. I mean, the Olympia is the Olympia, but the Arnold is, is the second best title in the sport. You know, I'd be with Rich sometimes where he was eight months away from a contest, but he was still in the gym, keeping to his schedule, you know, four straps, all the balls to the wall. He never, he never let up. He was the pioneer in my eyes for conditioning. He trained six days a week, twice a day. He worked harder than anyone that I've known over the years in the sport. What Rich did on stage, you know, transgressed into his business. Um, you know, a lot of guys are very one-dimensional. I would say Rich isn't. And the work ethic that he, he used to, you know, make a name for himself in the sport of bodybuilding, He's translated that same work ethic and truly it's rubbed off on me as well. He really started on a shoestring just like I did. And uh, we knew that there was an opportunity out there to connect with the athletes. He wanted to be able to give the bodybuilders back something that they knew were gonna work for them. So he developed his line of supplements and he just put his heart and soul into it like he put it into his training. The hardcore bodybuilding market gravitated to what Richie was talking about. You know, he's a credit to all, all bodybuilders. Too often we're stereotyped as just big meatheads with no brains. Not only was he a top level bodybuilder and one of the greatest of all time, he's also a great businessman. He was just taking the lessons he learned in bodybuilding and applying them to a business. You know, one of the good things about working for Rich is that, you know, good ideas are, are able to blossom that I always believed to be successful on the stage like Rich was and in the business world is having a vision, passion, and drive. You need those three qualities to be successful in life and Rich had all those three qualities. Just to hear his story about how to never give up, showing hard work, dedication, and intelligence. He put so many hats on in one day um, and I think that, that to me is, is a, a phenomenal feat of of balancing himself out in life. You really need to give back to the sport. Uh, Richie went a little bit above and beyond that. He's very supportive of athletes. He's very supportive of, of making sure that they, they have the right knowledge, whether it be dieting or training, and then also um, performance nutrition, which is what we're all about. It's what he knows he has to give back because the sport is what's put him in the position that he's in today. He's given guys like Flex Lewis, and um, he had a chance to live as pro bodybuilders and um, achieve their dreams. Provide an opportunity, and I think that's what Joe Weider did for a lot of us, because the true act of greatness is to be able to share his gifts with everyone else. And still not forget where he came from. He never forgot where he came from. You know, Richie remembers his roots. Without bodybuilding, we wouldn't be having this conversation today. So he, he, he like all of us that have been in it for a while, feel a connection to the history and also to be a part of that history. You have to understand, if, if they didn't start out strong with the Arnold Classic, it would have never given it any kind of credibility. Just carrying the name Arnold Classic brought a lot of people 
into the area, but if you didn't uh, have, have a great lineup on the stage and a great winner, it would have never given this show credibility. At the time, everybody was really trying to win the Olympia. Well, he put the Arnold Classic on the map. It was the first year, it was 1989. You gotta remember, he won that contest, and that was his ninth pro win, and he was still only 25. Think about that in terms of today. Guys aren't turning pro till the 30. 25 and he's won nine pro contests. This year's Lifetime Achievement Award recipient is Rich Gaspari, yeah! champion bodybuilder, innovator, nutrition expert, and entrepreneur. What about the favorites? You've seen this, uh, this field. What about the favorites? Well, I tell you that uh, I watched this afternoon the competition and uh, during the pre-charging I have to say that Rich Gaspari was in my mind the favorite. Check for $55,000. Nicknamed the Dragon Slayer, Rich was born in 1963 in New Brunswick, New Jersey. A first-generation American born to parents who had immigrated from Italy to the United States. Rich began weight training at the early age of 15, finding inspiration in the photographs and physiques of the bodybuilders he saw in old issues of Muscle Builder. Rich would regularly ride his bike to the nearby health and strength gym in Highland Park, New Jersey. It was there that he had his first taste of victory, winning the Health and Strength Classic, the gym's annual competition. In 1984, Rich stepped into the national spotlight by winning the IFBB Mr. Universe Light Heavyweight Class. The win was significant twofold. Rich earned his pro card, and at the age of 21, was the youngest participant to ever win the competition. Six months later, Rich made his professional debut at the 1985 Night of Champions. It was at this competition, Rich proved to be a trendsetter in bodybuilding. During his posing routine, Rich unveiled never-before-seen striated glutes. His attention to this muscle group forever changed the face of bodybuilding and what would be considered peak physical condition. All others competing against the Dragon Slayer would now have to work that much harder to beat this newcomer to professional bodybuilding. After coming in third to the legendary Lee Haney at the 1985 Mr. Olympia, Rich triumphed at the 1986 Los Angeles Pro and the 1986 Pro World. Rich went on to win a stunning string of victories at the 1988 Grand Prix in Germany, Spain, France, and Italy. It was in 1989 that Rich once again made history by winning the first Arnold Classic. A devastating back injury while training tragically cut short Rich Gaspari's professional bodybuilding career. However, as someone who would never settle for second place, Rich looked to the future, remaining laser-focused on finding what would be the next chapter in his career. Rich had always used a scientific approach to weight training throughout his professional career meticulously recording everything he ate and the effects on his physique during his pre- and post-competition training. This critical observance of nutrition would prove to be the motivation for the next phase in his career. In 1999, Rich Gaspari started the supplement company Gaspari Nutrition. Gaspari Nutrition produces an industry-leading line of supplements used by scores of bodybuilders and athletes during their on- and off-season training. Gaspari Nutrition has helped to improve the diets and health of countless consumers. Rich Gaspari currently lives in Jackson, New Jersey with his family. On the road, non-stop promoting Gaspari Nutrition and their athletes, Rich has tirelessly focused on the growth of Gaspari Nutrition. With the same tenacity and drive he had during his many years of competitive bodybuilding, Rich has built Gaspari Nutrition into a leader in the supplement industry. We congratulate Rich Gaspari on the lifetime dedicated to success in bodybuilding and nutritional health. We are proud to honor him as the Lifetime Achievement Award recipient of 2013.